or Laylatul Qadr, um, we know from what Allah tells us in the surah named after it, which it is, uh, it's a, it comes, it's a night in the month of Ramadan, usually one of the odd nights in the last ten days, and there's a lot of uh, different opinions about when it is, and the most common one is the 27th, but at least uh, 23rd, 21st, 25th, one of the odd nights. Um, Allah says that in it, uh, He sends down the Ruh, which uh, the commentators say is in Najibrail, and particular angels that only come down uh, in that night, uh, which He says is a night of peace. And they come down with uh, every Amr, with uh, with uh, command. And again, the, uh, the commentators say that it's um, when the coming down is the coming down to the first heaven, if you like, is the the heaven closest to uh, to earth, and um, they come with the the command of what will happen in the in the succeeding year. Um, and this also reflects one of the ideas of how of the the Quran coming down on Laylatul Qadr in the first place which was that the whole of the Qur'an was revealed in one go and, uh, and revealed um, to the lowest heaven and then came out into, through the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa over his period of prophethood um, which ended with the last uh, uh, khutbah, the hajj, and his last hajj what Allah says about it is that it's a, it's better than a thousand months, and there are different opinions about what that means. But it means at base, obviously, that it's a, it's a night, a night, which is better than a thousand months. Uh, so what uh, whatever whatever other meaning you want to extrapolate from that, it's it's a night which is like no other night. Uh, and it's usually considered to be, when it says better than, it means that it's, um, if you were to uh, turn to Allah in sincerity and worship on that night, it's better than you did it on a thousand other nights. Um, but you could also say uh, that, in a way, the month of Ramadan, which we, uh, is part of our, one of the five obligations upon us, where we don't, uh, we refrain during the days of, uh, during the days, daylight hours, um, from eating, uh, drinking, sexual intercourse, uh, and uh, bad habits. Um, you could say that the reward for it is in the month of Ramadan itself, which is the Laylatul Qadr, because if that's better than a thousand months. Um, uh, then there's something very particular and special in it. Experientially, um, in in the uh, fulfilling the obligation of, of Ramadan, then the the self changes, the the body changes naturally because the whole pattern of our existence is disrupted, uh, and we feel hunger uh, and, and tiredness, uh, etc. Um, and there's a general sort of weakening of our physical and uh, which seems to come in conjunction with an awakening of our spiritual so uh, what we are denied you could say the 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 denial that we experience in in the Ramadan is like one night Whereas the rewards we get from Ramadan are like a thousand months, because what we get from that, uh, when people look from the outside, they say, "Oh, how can you do this? You don't this. You do from sunrise to sunset, you don't eat, and you're depriving yourself." And but they don't see what we are gaining from it, uh, and what we gain from it is nothing compared to what we deprive ourselves. So, and somebody who who does really does Ramadan doesn't see it as a deprivation at all, and it's also called. Uh, it's the it's it's the it's the the month that is Karim, 
it's generous. Uh, I connect Laylatul Qadr to that the generousness of that month and of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in giving us that night uh, in that month.